Hello students. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the quadratic formula to solve a quadratic equation. The first thing we have to realize, a quadratic equation is when the highest degree is the power of two, which is in this format. Whenever we solve an equation with the quadratic formula, the first thing we have to have is that we have to have the equation set equal to zero. So in my problem I have below, it's already set equal to zero. The next thing that we need is we need to know what the quadratic formula is. The quadratic formula is simply x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So every coefficient within the equation represents one of the letters. In the equation that I'm given, 3 represents the a, 5 represents the b, and 2 represents the c. Now that I have the values of a, b, and c, I simply just plug those in by formula. So in place of my b, I'm going to put 5. The opposite of 5 is negative 5, plus or minus the square root of 5 squared minus 4 times a, which is 3, times c, which is 2, divided by 2 times the value of a, which is 3. Now that I've plugged in my values, I simply have to do my arithmetic. 5 squared equals 25. 4 times 3 times 2 equals 24, all divided by 6. Continue to do my arithmetic. 25 minus 24 is 1. And the square root of 1 simply is 1. Now, when we use the quadratic formula, we're looking for two different answers. Because I have a plus or minus here. So that needs to be broken into two separate answers. I have x equals negative 5 plus 1 over 6. Well, when I simplify that, I get a negative 4 over 6, which then reduces down to negative 2 thirds. Then my other answer would be negative 5 minus 1 over 6, which gives me negative 6 over 6. And when I simplify that, I get negative 1. So by utilizing the quadratic formula, I've come up with two answers. I have x equals negative 2 thirds, and I have x equals negative 1. And that's how you solve a quadratic equation by the use of the quadratic formula. I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.